Where is it? Babe, have you seen my GoPro? <sighs> have you checked your bag? Ah, there you are, you little cock wombo. So I'm just on my way to meet a friend of mine today. Um, we're gonna be shooting some film portraits using my Mamiya RB67, and I'm actually gonna be shooting a couple of different rolls of expired film stock. Um, two colour and one black and white. Basically a friend of mine, a fellow wedding photographer, she gifted me with a bag um, of sort of like old film cameras and some old expired film and stuff like that that was given to her from a customer when she worked in a photography shop, a Jessup's I think it was. Uh, and yeah, I just paid for the postage and she sent it to me for free, which was really kind of her. And um, yeah, in there was a few different old film cameras and stuff, which I'm gonna do a video about next, uh, just showing you the cameras and everything that I got in that bag. Um, but also there was some expired film. So there was some Fuji, 4, uh, Fuji Pro 400H in there, which is about a decade old. And also there was some Fuji Reeler, uh, which is another Fuji film and it's a 100 ISO film. Never even, I'd never even heard of it before. Um, I'd never shot it either. They're all expired by about a decade. Um, so they say for every decade that a film is expired, you should overexpose it by one stop. So the Fuji Reeler is usually 100 ISO. I'm gonna rate it at 50. The FP4 is usually 125 ISO, I'm just gonna rate that at 50 as well. And then the Fuji 400H uh, is a 400 speed ISO film, but I usually rate it at 200, so I'm gonna rate that at 100 instead. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go, I've just parked up, I'm gonna go meet her now, I'm gonna go through all the free rolls of film, and yeah, hopefully they come out okay, and um, I'll show you the results kind of along the way. You all right, getting down? Yeah, <laughs> much needed. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Nice bit of wind for you going on. <laughs> right, three, two, one.
It's peppermint tea, not coffee, because um, actually I hate coffee. Like it's rank, it tastes like mud. Sorry to all the uh, coffee enthusiasts out there. But um, yeah, so those were the photos. I was actually really happy with the results, really happy with how they came out. I know that uh, they were only expired by like a decade or just under, but I didn't know how they'd been stored or anything like that. And I, to be honest with you, I didn't know whether they were gonna come out or develop at all. So the fact that they all came out and the colors look great and you know, they were sharp and stuff, I was really happy with. The uh, Fuji Reeler, obviously I'd never heard of it before uh, I did a little bit of research to see kind of what the tones and stuff were supposed to look like but to be honest with you I think the colors are really nice they're very sort of true to life and very clean and stuff like that and uh, yeah I've got four more rolls of that left so looking forward to shooting the other rolls maybe on some portrait sessions and stuff like that uh, the Ilford FB4 obviously I've shot quite a bit of FB4 in the past I've been shooting a lot of HB5 and Ilford FB4 for the South End project um, I usually actually push FB4 to 200 but having rated it at 50 just so I could overexpose it by a stop they just come out really sharp like barely any grain and stuff like that and the contrast was okay I guess because it was a little bit expired that's what gave it a little bit more contrast at Fuji Pro 400H obviously that was expired by just under a decade again I um, rated it 100 and they came out really nice you know I really like Fuji colors I'm more of a Kodak portrait guy usually myself for my color photography anyway so I wasn't really too bummed out when they announced that they were going to discontinue it but yeah, definitely Fuji Pro 400H is really good for, you know, natural, true to life colors as well. Uh, especially like with that phone box pictures, like Fuji Pro 400H is really good with reds. I think that Kodak usually, it makes its reds, it gives it like a bit of an orange tinge to it. Whereas Fuji Pro 400H, reds are red, how they're supposed to be. Um, but yeah, like I say, really happy with how they all come out. I got, you know, my hit rate was like, nine out of ten with all of the different roles which is good i think using the tripod was definitely had a part to play in, play with that like i don't often use a tripod when i'm shooting my film portraits um even though the mami rb is like super heavy it's a tank but i don't really mind walking around and holding it and you know um just shooting handheld but i just thought for that that i definitely really wanted to make sure that i made the most of the film because uh, i've only got a few different roles of the expired film so i thought i'll use a tripod and a cable release and uh, yeah, although it doesn't look too cool, you know, you're not going to look the coolest walking around with a tripod and the cable release, you're going to get amazing results out of it. You know, when you're taking your time to focus, slow down, you're going to reduce your camera shake and stuff like that. And if you definitely want to make the most out of your film photography, I would highly recommend using the tripod, using the cable release and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching as always. Next video, like I mentioned, I'm gonna talk about that little bag of uh, film goodies. Basically, next video is just gonna be called, you know, recent photography pickups or whatever. So I'm gonna talk about a few things that I've, I've got recently, like photography related things, a new lens for the RB, uh, I've got a few photo books and stuff recently, and then obviously that bag, there were loads of different 35 millimeter cameras in there, like a cool panoramic one, and there was a Polaroid camera in there and stuff like that, on top of the expired films as well. So I've tested out a few of those film cameras, I'm just going to show you a few samples from all these different cameras and talk about them as well as a few other things I've picked up. And then after that, uh, hopefully should be um, an update on the South End project. Um, just talking a little bit more about how I've been approaching plenty more strangers recently and I've definitely got a lot more confident with it and I'm enjoying it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I've got. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.